Hello guys and welcome back to Let's Play of Soma. In this episode, we are going to go and take a ride in the Dunbat because we have just got security code from Mr. Brandon in the uh, virtual reality we just uh, witnessed. And now we have access to the Dunbat. So Soma, that means we can it. go. We can get to the Dunbat now. Get back here. Exactly what she said. We can go to the Dunbat and we can now go deeper underground. So let's venture off and do this, guys. Run, run, run! This should be pretty so exciting. You're not worried that there are other Simons or Catherines running around out there? Now I am. Geez, Simon, some thoughts are better left alone. I wonder if they're referring to the fact that I didn't actually delete my files. Personally, I'm going to leave it. I don't want to delete them. Maybe that's just me being a hoarder. No, I'm not really that bad, honestly. There but, um, you are. Just I'm leave warming them. up the Dunbat for us. It's been collecting dust for months, so it might need a minute. Awesome. Okay, that's it. That's everything. Let's go ahead and... Huh. That's weird. Huh. Never mind. What do you need me to do? Head inside the dock. The Omnitool can open the door now. And get into the Dunbat. Then plug me in, and I'll take us into the Abyss. Sounds easy enough. Oh yeah. Right, let's go, guys. the door maybe? Aha. There we go. Give me that sweet, sweet dumbbell. I've been wanting this for so long now. Nice airy music. Give me those vibes. Digging it. Warning, do not enter, okay. But, uh, you know, preferably I'd like to have access to this. Ooh, I can plug it in. Plug in, yeah, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, they still don't move. Yes, they do, shit. Oh my. Can I... Systems active, okay, let's just turn the water through. Running tests, yep. That one's locked, no. Yep, we can move that. Yeah! Yeah! Woohoo! Spinning these little knobs. No! No! Okay. Whoa! Got a feeling I may have messed up there a bit. Don't know if that's meant to happen or not. Fantastic. We're screwed now, aren't we? Because this no longer works. We've got broken dumbat. Here's my little flashlight. Catherine, gonna help me out here. That dumbbat literally messed up so hard. Either it was my fault or it was a dumbbat. Whee! Sweet. <laughs> I managed to jump press the button. Does that now mean we can go in there? Run and crouch maybe? Hell yes. Got in there first time. Now, we're probably going to fall. Can I jump? No. <laughs> we're falling. What's going on? Why can't I move? Oops, sorry about that. My game just froze up a little bit. Plan B. Achievement unlocked. Yes. We're taking the nice plan B route. Preferably would prefer plan A, but we're getting 
be here. It's better than the sea, right? Got to stay optimistic in these dark, dark times. Oh great, my heart's beating. And I can hear things. Looks like we might have a monster on our hands. And we've calmed down now. I like the way you groan, Mr. Monster. So I wonder if we can actually go down underground through this. I don't know if we can. Maybe we can find another dumb bat. That would be quite good. Ooh, what's this? Oh. Is that a bed I can sleep on? It sure looks like one. <laughs> right, let's just do this first of all. We know how much Simon likes to do this. Boom. I'm feeling better already. Let's take a look at these images. Mm. Looks like some sort of generator. And we can plug things in as well. Alright, so there's the thing in the jiggy. Shuttle to Omicron, access tunnel to Phi, launch arc, change the HPS, ride the climate into the Abyssus, check on tail, anyone alive. Okay, so this is like a little plan. Again, um, you can pause it here if you want to read it all. I'm just going to have a quick brief read and move on. Who have a photo? <clears throat> I think that's Catherine on the right hand side and some of their colleagues power packs, tools, extra oxygen P2 permissions some number of codes prep arc with signal transmitter Okay. well then Got a lot of cool things we can kind of do here Let's pop Catherine in, maybe that'll help. Huh? Wait, this isn't... Oh no! Wow got to the Dunbat before we did, am I right? Well, it was talking. That's rarely a good sign. Damn it. The Dunbat was our best shot. I was really banking on this to work. Come on, we can't quit now. There's gotta be another way. How do you think you did it? How did the team get the Ark down the Abyss in the first place? If they didn't use the Dunbat, the only other way would be the Climber in Omicron. It's like an elevator which supposedly reaches all the way down into the Abyss. Okay, so we do that. We go to Omicron and take the elevator. Yeah, okay. Sure. We'll just head over to Omicron and hope there's a power suit that fits you. You know, so you don't implode while in the Abyss. <laughs> that does sound useful. Alright, let's go then. Wait, what is this place? Seems to be a lot of information on the art here. There's a prototype and everything. Okay. Let's start it up. I want to see how it works. Maybe we can figure out how to get on the arc. Oh, cool, Catherine. Thank you for that. You didn't know how to get us on? How difficult could it be? Awesome. So we're going to get a power suit as well at some point. Documents. My decision. Again, you can pause here if you need to. I'll just cut it afterwards. Alright, so Catherine had a few messages on there. And a to do list. Arc locator, there it is. In the abyss. Let's do a survey. Sounds cool. Recently, it was decided that the Ark project could become Pathos 2's last official commitment. The staff have been urged to carry on with their duties despite Earth's catastrophic condition. I think the Ark's project is the most logical step towards saving mankind, and that we should spend as much time and resources as needed to complete it. Yeah, I strongly agree. To embark, every passenger needs to be flushed with electromagnetism using a pilot seat. These scanning sessions are known to cause nausea and headaches, sometimes lasting up to three days. I think temporary physical discomfort, no matter how severe, is a small price to play to save mankind. Um, 
yeah, to save mankind, I would kind of agree, but not strongly agree. I wouldn't want to feel like I'm about to die. The Ark is built to fit a Ranger MK V2 probe, meaning it could be shot into space with the Omega space gun, and technically survive for thousands of years, living off the light from our sun and distant stars. I think the Ark should leave Earth behind and be launched into space. Yeah, I wouldn't want it to leave Earth behind, but I definitely think it should be like um, launched into space. That'd be really cool. Agree. <coughs> the digitalization of humanity is an opportunity to make a quantum leap in our own evolution. The people inside the Ark will, out of necessity, be generated from existing genetic code, but could be altered to follow for cosmetic changes, ease aging, and even prevent death. I think we are at risk of losing our humanity if we or to rid ourselves of disease and our mortality. Hmm. In a way, I, yeah, I do actually kind of agree with this. Because if we were to live on forever and ever and ever and get rid of diseases, I don't know, and if we could potentially change who we were, I don't, I don't know, that would, could, that would kind of remove us from being human in a way. But that's because that's normal to us and now I'm thinking like a human, so I don't know, let's just agree with this one again, not strongly. I'm very agreeable, as it looks. There are only 58 people left alive to be stored inside the Ark. Okay, that's a bit rubbish. A way to diversify and expand the population would be to introduce artificial intelligence. That would in every way appear to be human, but with the childlike and naive sensibilities. As we continue to explore the nature of the intelligence, we may find a way to make them smarter in the future. I think even an inferior group of artificial people would benefit our society. Yeah. Agreed. Alright then. Thank you for participating. This is how your colleagues voted. Arc approval, strongly agree. 76%. Agree, 26%. Agree, 28%. Okay. So this is where I went. Yeah, let's see what they got. So they did strongly agree for this one. Fair companions agree. I was my I had the majority again there, um, and then I had the majority here, and I had the majority here. That's quite good to know. People agree with me. Woo! Computer AI agree with me. This is awesome. <laughs> Apart from one, but who gives a crap? Everyone's got to have their own opinions, right? And their own personality. Move that mouse. Doesn't work anyway. This is touch screen apparently. Okay then, let's plug this into here. Cool. That's on. Let's just close that. It looks more professional. Hey, close the door, please. Close it. Oh, fine. Who do you think you are? Running around leaving scars? Approximately 43% memory corrupted. Alright. Oh. Whoa. Whoa, 28 terabytes. 178 terabytes. Crikey, man. I've only got about 5 terabytes of total storage. I think we should leave it there. That sounds nice chair and a bench, yep. I mean, I would love a river and a boat, but it's not a necessity. Let's carry on and see if we can do anything around here. We will have to plug in a lot of What's things, this I believe. Thing? That's just a compound examiner. Coster uses it to investigate structural integrity in payload frameworks. Of course. Could you fit inside it? If I knew what you were made of, it would be a hell of a lot easier to figure out how to get you on the Ark. Give it a try. We will definitely give it a try. Um, I'm thinking I should plug these in though. These look like they're meant to be plugged in. Although I don't know where. Uh, do you see? Do you see where they should be plugged in? I'm not so sure. Let's try and press this actually. Screw it. I really would like to uh, fix it all up properly though if I'm doing a major science experiment. I don't want to blow up or some crazy catastrophe to happen. It's just not cool. But I don't see any other way, so let's try it out. I'm in. I am in. Bit of a tight fit. Can you reach the on switch? I should be able to, my darling. It's almost like an MRI scan. 
Except for the Should fighting, you worried body. about radiation? I think we're beyond that. Interesting. <laughs> you seem to be one with the diving suit you're wearing. Everything's meshed together. How's that gonna yes. work with the suit we're picking up at Omicron? Um, I think they're bigger. You should be able to wear them both. Imogen? Who's that? It looks like the hey, basis for your body is one of my old colleagues. A standard cortex chip for robots, including the data reader and the Ocute torch, has just been forced through the skull. What? Structure gel has fused the whole construction together. Amazing stuff. No, 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 no. Hold on. Back up. I'm one of your old colleagues? Well, your body is. Imogen Reed. That's disgusting. Hey, don't say that. She was my... She was nice to me. Anyway, the Cortex chip is good news. That means we can transfer your mind to the Ark with a pilot seat. Kath, I'm half a dead person. Yes, it makes sense. Think about it. All those simplistic minds we've run into? Just reviving a dead person doesn't seem to work that well. A robot body seems to make people a bit unreliable. You are the best of both worlds. A sound mind in a sound body. At least we know how to get on the arm. Sort of. I understand the concept, but I don't know the specifics. I really wish we could figure out how the scan data is formulated and processed. That's pretty messed up, so I'm basically Imogen and Simon Jarrett all at the same time. I was aware of this person called Imogen because I got a Steam card uh, called Imogen. So it's obvious that there was a person in this game called Imogen. But thankfully it wasn't too much of a spoiler. 